Welcome to the OpFun web portal training video on using the HUD 52723 Excel tool. HUD determines operating fund grant eligibility based on the data collected in forms HUD 52723 and HUD 52722. PHAs must complete and submit these forms for each project on an annual basis. This video is intended as a high-level tutorial for using the HUD 52723 Excel tool. For an in-depth look at using this tool, please reference the related user guide. Before you can use any of the HUD Excel tools, you'll need to configure a few Trust Center settings within Microsoft Excel. If you've already configured these settings, skip ahead to learn how to use these tools. First, you need to ensure that you're using a version of Excel that is supported by Microsoft. As of March 2021, this list includes Office 2013, Office 2016, Office 2019, and Microsoft 365. Open Excel and click on the Account menu to review your version of Excel. Please contact your local IT staff to upgrade your Microsoft Excel version as required. Go to the Options menu. Click on the Trust Center menu at the bottom, then click the Trust Center Settings button. You'll need to update four areas within Trust Center, ActiveX, Macro Settings, Protected View, and Message Bar. Click on the ActiveX menu. Select the fourth radio button and check the Safe Mode box. Go to the Macro Settings menu. Choose the fourth radio button and check the Trust Access to the VBA Project Object Model box. Click on the Protected View menu. Clear all the check boxes on this page. Lastly, click on the Message Bar menu. Select the second radio button and check the Show Policy Tip box. After updating the settings in these four areas, click the OK button. Click the OK button again on the main options menu to save your changes. Close Excel and then reopen it to refresh your changes. Your version of Excel is now configured to run the Excel tools. Before downloading the tool, we recommend creating a folder on your local computer that you can access easily. Save this folder on your desktop or local C drive. We recommend avoiding a network drive to prevent upload errors in the OpFun web portal. Right-click in Windows Explorer and choose New, then select Folder. In this example, we'll name ours 2021 Op Sub Tools. After creating this folder, log into the OpFun web portal via Secure Systems. Click on the PIH Operating Fund link to go to the OpFun web portal. Go to the PHA Form 52723 52722 link in the left menu. Open the 52723-52722 tool download menu and click the PHA tool download link. Select the calendar year, then click the icons to download the 52723 Excel tool and user guide. Save the files to the folder that you created on your desktop or local C drive. Go to the folder where you saved the zip files. Extract the zip files completely before proceeding. Right-click on the zipped files and choose Extract All. Keep the destination folder the same. Click the Extract button. Windows will complete the extraction process. Open the Extracted Excel tool. First, choose your PHA from the drop-down list. Next, click the Click to Create a Customized Download button. Save the file to the same folder that you created on your desktop or C drive. Click the OK button. The tool generates the file for your specific housing authority. Do not change the file name that is automatically generated, otherwise the OpFun web portal will return an error. Once you open the Excel tool, select a project from the drop-down list, then click the Load Project Data button. This action will populate the form with the data for that project based on the information submitted for the prior year. In Section 2, we need to confirm the number of ACC units at the beginning of our fiscal year. Enter the units that you've added and or removed. In column B, choose the eligible unit months, EUMs, as the first of the month or the last of the month. Keep the same method across all your projects. Any area highlighted in orange is read-only. If you need to update any read-only data, Add appropriate comments and email your local HUD field office staff. Only columns in yellow can be edited. Refer to the user guide for information on entering data in specific fields. You will need to enter the total unit months calculated from the 52723 tool into the 52722 tool. 
the total unit months is calculated by adding column B, line 15, and line 17, and subtracting line 4. Once you've calculated this amount, make a note for easy reference when completing the 52722 tool. In Section 3, Part A, enter your utilities expense level, UEL, in line 5. You will have this information after completing the HUD 52722 Excel tool. Refer to line 26 of the 52722 Excel tool for this amount. You can modify data in the Add-on section. If you modify any data, you will need to add comments explaining why you're making a change. To add a comment, choose a section and line number from the drop-down menu. Type your comments and click the Add Comment button. Once you enter a comment, if you need to make any edits, find the section and line number in the drop-down menu and click the Delete Comment button. Then you can add another comment for that specific line. For additional information on using comments, please refer to the user guide. For line 12 in add-ons, check the box if the project is eligible for an asset management fee. Please note that no numbers are calculated for asset management fees until you certify the tool. In Part B, Formula Income, Line 2, Resident Paid Utility, RPU, should be a negative number. Remember, if you modify any yellow cells, you must provide a comment explaining why you're making a change. When you click the Save Project Data button, the tool will let you know if you're missing required comments or if you need to correct any data entry errors. Complete the required certifications in Section 5 and click the Save Project Data button. Once you complete the data for a project, a pop-up window will tell you how many projects you have remaining. Once you complete the tool for a project, the at symbol no longer appears for that project in the drop-down menu. Repeat these steps for all projects listed for your housing authority. Thank you for watching this OpFun Web Portal training video on using the HUD 52723 Excel tool. Be sure to reference the user guide for an in-depth look into this tool. Please contact your local field office if you need help calculating or understanding operating fund eligibility, PIH regulations, or notices. For questions or comments regarding the OpFund web portal, contact React Tech by phone at 1-888-245-4860 and choosing option number 4 or by email at react underscore tech at hud.gov.